You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. It is three minutes after 12 bells, and my guest is Juliet Lewis. Hello, Juliet. Hi. How are you, hon? I'm pretty good. Can you hear yourself? Yes, let's let's get in there. You got, you got your volume now? All right, I got my volume. That's it's it. Technical. You got your drink, you got your T-shirt, you got, got it all. Yes. You have to really get on that mic. Oh, okay. Let me get Can that. you hear the difference when you're not on it and when you are on yes, it? Yes, babe, I hear that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so soon. I oh, know. Don't. Uh, just straight in. Yeah. Straight I, in with the sexualness. That's what she said. That's what she said. I okay. know. In like Flynn. <laughs> you know where that came from, right? In like Flynn? Yeah. No. It was Errol Flynn. He he oh. he used to Woo, he just used, get him. Like anybody, a maid to like a princess. <laughs> he wouldn't stop at anything. A maid to a princess. There's I like a song that. there. It's a good range. There you go. There's a chorus right there I for you. I heard that. But that was where the term I'm a maid. You do a princess. princess. Ah. Oh yeah. All right. That's where we, that's where that term came in from. In like Flynn, I was. Do you know Cockney? Yeah. Speaking of that, you know uh, those you are funny. Know? Um, don't they talk about head? like yeah, some ears and green beans and rhyming things? Well, like your head. My head would be a crust of bread. <laughs> so you say you crust. You crust yeah. for what? For what is it? How's well, your head? Well, well, yeah. well, I don't know. How is it? <laughs> Oh, man, oh. how did that happen, the you, innuendos? You know. I went there. You know. I've been in a band for 100 years, you so know I know what how you're this goes. Yeah. You're molesting me. Stop it. I know. Not like I don't have my own sexual puns that live in with me every day. So your ears mm -hmm. are your King Lear's. Your King Lear's? King Lear. Yeah, he was yeah. a king. I know. That's all right. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm Just, a little uneducated, but... So your King Lear's are your ears. Your mince pies are your eyes. Oh. <laughs> your don't suppose is your nose. Don't suppose. But how do you use these? Your like, mouth. What? Yeah, I'm thinking you're going to... This is the one you uh, want to uh, learn. Okay. All right. Your mouth. Yeah. Your north and south. I like that. That's a good one. Your north and south. Yeah. With south, an F. South. South. Got yeah. it. Great. Um, <laughs> your, your neck is your Gregory Peck. <laughs> But can I just ask, why are they rhyming normal words? I thought we we're going to hide like crimes or if we stab somebody, we got to learn some phrases. Well, no, what it was was when, when the Cockney rhyming slangs, where it started was in markets uh, back in 18th century when, mm. when the posh guys would come. They had their own language to talk about the posh guys. Oh, I get it. So they didn't know what they were talking about, so they could kind of... <laughs> talk some smack, yeah, as they say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what I came to believe was the was the, the truth of it. Oh, that makes sense. That's cute. Your legs are your scotch eggs. <laughs> your wee pegs. And your ass is uh, your bottle and glass. Oh, that's nice. Do you like that one? Yeah. Your feet are your plates of meat. <laughs> this is going to go on all day. Yeah. What? Are you a vegetarian? I'm not, but I'm, I mostly am, but no, I can't technically say I am. Do you like being a veg? You like the idea of being a vegetarian? I like the idea of it a lot, and I'm probably leaning. Or I just know I have to eat. All the vegetarians will scream and moan at what I'm going to say, but I have to obsessively eat protein. I gotcha. I know I'm this little thing, but I have a um, what's it? A hummingbird's uh, motor. In, in you, are, you, sense. you look like you got a high metabolism. I do. But I, I have a lot of energy, so I have to... But anyway, I do protein shakes, and I can have natural pro protein. I don't eat red meat. What, bl what blood type are you, though? Yeah, oh, I love how you know this. Yeah, I'm supposed to be eating, like, venison and buffalo meat, yeah, and I and can't... And dinosaurs and... Yeah, and sh sh pterodactyls. Yeah, pterodactyl. I don't, don't want to eat this meat. <laughs> so... Yeah, I probably. Like I feel better. I like. I did vegan for yeah. a while, and I've, I've, I've attempted to do it twice, but I don't like the way I feel. I'm all bloated yeah, from all the, the carbs and, and the yeah. sugar. When I eat meat, I, like I lose weight a bit, and uh, I'm uh, better. It's better. Are you a typo? 
Yeah. Yeah, there's so many different diets because people people at home, I love, the, for the people at home, the eat for your blood type diet, I don't know why I turned Southern <laughs> to saying this. Go on. Okay. Well, eat for your blood type, I guess the, I, the theory is that our DNA line traces us back to what kind of people, what were we Prior eating? to farming. Prior to farming, were we gatherers or everyone hunters? Was, everyone yeah. was O back then. Everyone oh. was O. That where, where the blood type changes when we started farming and uh. cultivating our own food. Prior to that, it was just us hunting. Oh, speaking of, I don't know if you have a, a trajectory, a course, a rhyme, or reason, a rhyme or reason with your show, but I'm just going to go off of what comes to my mind. Yeah, yeah. The Revenant. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. Oh, my God, Jonesy. I think I've got a copy of that, too, from the old uh, uh, Academy. Yeah, from the, the old hee-haw. Well, I like going to the theater. The Revenant. Everybody I talk to, to me, it's a philosoph. It's it's everything. It's okay. so sort of the greatest movie I've seen in, in ever. Um, but speaking of uh, hunting and all that, it's a different time of survival. I loved it. It was beautiful. Have you seen The Room? Have not seen that. You just went really dark. My, no, no, no. No, because it's scary. I got, I got yeah. that and I was going to watch that. Yeah. And I thought I'd wait till someone, maybe I'll watch it with someone else. I don't know nothing about it. I know. It. don't oh. know nothing about it. It's, uh, I saw, yeah. I, I saw the big short. I like that. Loved that. And I saw uh, Straight Outta Compton. Yes. I like that too. I like that a lot. Right. To me, it was very powerful and beautiful about friendship. I, I was surprised. That not so much like a band or a group but uh, really about uh, friendship i don't know did, well, you I mean do any, did you do any movies in the last year or so you had your tv show yeah i've been doing a tv show what's it called uh i did do a movie but it'll be out in in a couple months it's called nerve this movie with emma roberts and dave franco that'll be a really cool movie okay secrets and lies this is this tv show i've been doing which is really interesting because the character is so far from who I am in every single way, which is stuff I, I enjoy to be challenged. Uh, now, it's called, you, uh, did you, I, I just said that? Sorry. No, go on. Secrets, Secrets and, and lies. lies. I play a homicide detective. So it's, it, it's one case. We're trying to solve one murder mystery over 10 episodes. And are you the ma a main character in it? Yeah. You're a big shot? I, I am a big shot. You have a gun and all that, a badge? I do. I have a gun and a badge. But more scary than that is, I, apparently, people tell me, is my menacing look. Oh, really? Yeah. It's your menacing boat race. <laughs> Face. You got it! <laughs> Why do I win? <laughs> Where's the confetti? Um, what we got there, Shovel? Well, we have to announce the song that people are listening for for $1,000 this yeah. hour. Wow, yeah. The song is the Ro Rolling Stones, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, Call a 25. That's that's the uh, that's the song we're doing for the $1,000 uh, giveaway in the, in, in the next, in this hour. Yeah, so when we play that, the Caller 25 wins $1,000. Yeah. Bang. Should we play some music? Sure. I just want to say, too, that we're going to be giving away Buzzcocks tickets as well what i want to go to the buzzcocks what but, what wait but I'm, what? I'm not gonna take i'll give them to, we'll give them to, will i'll give them to the listeners we can sort you out <laughs> you know some people you got some connections i can get you backstage if you like and um let's let's play some uh fleetwood mac uh we're gonna play uh gypsy you're listening to jonesy's jukebox on klos with my guest juliette lewis take it away son